Amato Lusitano, Wikipedia article audio. Jao Rodriguez de Costello Branco, better known as Amato Lusitano and Amadis Lusitanus, was a notable Portuguese Jewish physician of the 16th century. Like Herophilus, Galen, Ibn Alnafi, Michael Servetus, Rildo Colombo and William Harvey, he is credited as making a discovery in the circulation of the blood. He is said to have discovered the function of the valves in the circulation of the blood. Lusitano was born in 1511 in Castelo Branco, Portugal. He was a descendant of a Murano family called Chabib, and was brought up in the Jewish faith. After having graduated with honors as M.D. from the University of Salamanca, he was unable to return Portugal for fear of the Inquisition. He went to Antwerp for a time and then travelled through the Netherlands and France, finally settling in Italy. His reputation as one of the most skillful physicians of his time preceded him there, and during his short sojourn at Venice, where he came in contact with the physician and philosopher Jacob Mantineau, he attended the niece of Pope Julius III and other distinguished personages. Life Work In 1546 Amato was in Ferrara, at whose university he taught anatomy as an assistant to the physician G.M. Battista Canano and delivered lectures on medicinal plants. At one of his lectures he dissected twelve cadavers a great innovation at that time in the presence of many scholars, among whom was the anatomist Jean Baptiste Cananus, who through his experience on this occasion was wrongly credited with the discovery of the function of the valves in the circulation of the blood. During his sojourn in Ferrara, which lasted for six years, Amadis Lusitanus received an invitation from the King of Poland to move to that country, which he declined, preferring to settle in Ancona, where religious tolerance existed. Meanwhile, his reputation grew higher and higher. Jacoba del Monte, sister of Pope Julius III, was one of his patients, and he prescribed also for Julius himself to whose sickbed he was later summoned. With the accession of Paul IV, Amadis underwent all the sufferings which the Muranos of Ancona had to endure from this pope. He took refuge in Pesaro, leaving behind him all his possessions, including several manuscript works, the loss of which he greatly deplored. One of these manuscripts, however, the fifth part of his century, was later restored to him and published. During his sojourn at Pesaro he received an invitation from the municipality of Ragusa, after staying for some months he left the city for Thessaloniki, which then had a large Jewish community and was part of the Ottoman Empire, there he openly professed the Jewish faith and finally died in 1568. He discovered the circulation of the blood, and through dissections of the azagus vein, he was the first to observe and speculate about the venous valves found there. This discovery contradicted the conventional belief of the time that the blood flows from the heart via the arteries as well as the veins. It is obvious that this hypothesis was supported by the fact that the network of arteries and veins becomes thinner and thinner as they get farther from the heart. It was also assumed that the networks are not connected, so the blood cannot pass from one network to the other. Dr. Amadis Lusitanus described in the Centuria I, paragraph 513, how, in 1547, he performed an experiment before some scholars from the University of Ferrara. He blew air into the lower part of the ezagus, and showed that the vena cava would not be inflated. It was not possible for the air to escape because of the valve or operculum mentioned. When it is clear that if air cannot pass out of the ezagus into the vena cava, it is all the more certain that blood, 
much thicker than air, could not flow through. In the audience was the admirable anatomist Giambattista Canano, to whom the discovery of the valves was attributed later by mistake. Amidus enriched medical literature with several valuable works which for a long time enjoyed the highest reputation. Among these the most important was his Century, in which he published accounts of his cases and their treatment. This work, in seven volumes, entitled Curationum Medicinalium Centurii Septum, passed through a number of editions. His other works were, Index Dioscorides, Anagemata in Duos Prioris Dioscorides de Arte Medica Libros, in Dios Chorids de Medica Materia Librum Quinqua Enerationis, Commentatio de Introito Medici ad E. Grotentum Comma, de Chrysi et Diebus Decretorius, in Dioscorides and Azarbe de Medica Materia Libros Quinqua, Enerationis Eruditissimi, La Historia de Eutropio, Commentary on the First Book of Avicenna S. Canon, which, as he relates in the preface to the Seventh Centuria, he lost among his possessions at Ancona. Notes <laughs>